Welcome back to the V10 R League and the first event of the day, which is the head to head. Commentary, as always, comes from Ben and Nick. And we are getting ready here in Monza. Six red lights, and we are underway. And it looks like a great start there from P2. Yeah, fantastic start from um, Fidelity. It's exactly what he would wanted. Um, so, yeah, he's going to go a little bit defensive into turn one. Don't exactly know where. Uh, wow. Santoro just about. Oh, a little bit of a cut. We've seen this a lot of the time, you know. Oh, now Santoro going right down the inside. Esmo one and the exit Esmo one just about made it. So uh, Santoro looking very, very strong, very, very racy, keeping his head down. And uh, you know, Fideli now in the race, um, just because he's sort of uh, you know taking a little bit of the uh, the mick. But now down the outside, is he going to break deep? Is he going to break late? Who can break the latest? Yep, it looks like Fidelli is going to wow. get the move done around yeah. the outside. A bit of contact made, great but they're still move. in the fight. Yeah, great but move around the outside, to be fair. Around the final corner, we are going to have uh, Simone Fidelli come across the line and win the race on circuit in this race. Lights out, and away we go. And it looks like a great start there from the Yas Heat Boys. Yeah, Capote really getting the job done. So he's, he's already into turn one. Uh, wow, just about made it, hanging it around the outside. Who's got the better exit? And uh, De Salvo looks like he's going to have to tuck in and, and really use that um, slip stream that we know so, so good here at Monza. Yeah, we can see the, the two teams running side by side into the chicane. Who's going to come out on top here? It looks like Yassi are going to hold the inside here. And uh, that's Suzuki having to cut the chicane. There's more contact on the exit. And uh, that looks a bit messy there, Nick. Wow, a lot of a lot of uh, contact there. A bit of a, a shame um, for the Suzuki lads. Uh, but yeah, the Yas Heat guys are really, really moving forward now. So uh, a little bit of a um, breathing space on the back straight for the final time. Uh, Penko using all the road and a little bit more on the exit of uh, Ascari there. So into Parabolica for the final time. It's now down to 3.8 seconds. So depending. Um, on the on the penalty, uh, it looks like Team uh, Heat are going to take this one. So Yas Heat then take the victory on circuit with their driver Emon Murphy. And uh, a reminder that this is the reverse grid from qualifying. Here we go. Here in Monza, we are underway, and it's a great start for Capoccia. Yeah, Capoccia's done a good job getting off the line, nice and solidly. So they're going into turn one. And uh, wow, oh, a little bit of contact there between, uh, I think that was Penko and Murphy at the first chicane. So that gives breathing room to Kapocha 1.3 seconds already after turn one. Yep, so a bit of an incident there. Let's see if they can gather themselves up and stay in the fight. Uh, in the lead, we've got the Salvo P2, Penko P3. So it looks like it's, it's pretty close points-wise between the two teams here, Nick, as we run side by side into Lesmo 2. Wow. And Fidele nearly had to, <laughs> nearly spun there, had to catch a great save. Um, because you can use this, it's a long season, so you can use this to, to your advantage. Oh, oh, big mistake from Fidele there on exit, a massive moment. And uh, yeah, luckily the um, damage isn't on, like I said earlier. No mistakes from Kapocha on entry or exit. So it's all down to the last corner. Now he's trying to weave out of the uh, out of the slipstream. Kapocha trying to go defensive um, and see what's going to happen here. Is he going to get him on the brakes? No, not at all. So it looks like Kapocha might have done just enough out of um, Parabolica for the final time uh, to take the win. There we go. So. He, uh, he takes the wind, does Capocha a great drive to uh, to stay composed under all that pressure from the John Alisi Esports guys. And in the end, it is um, Yas Heat taking the, the round win for that one. 14-12 in favour of Yas over Team Suzuki. So with our final results, our round one standings are complete. It's early days, but strong performances from Williams and Porsche 24 Redline see them top the table. But Red Bull and John Alesi Suzuki sit just behind, snapping at their heels. With six more rounds of action to come, there's still plenty of time for the bottom half of the table to play catch-up and challenge those at the top.